This past week, I had the pleasure to fly out and attend the Labash Conference. And you might be thinking, okay, that's great, but what's Labash? And Labash is a national conference that stands for Landscape Architecture Bash that happens annually and is put on by students by a different university every single year. So this year, the host was Kansas State, and let me tell you, it was quite the amazing experience. But before I get too far into the video, I wanted to take a quick minute to thank the people and students at K-State and the ASLA organization for inviting me out there to not only document the event for them, but to also experience that event for the first time. To me, it truly was an incredible experience, and that was even from a point of view of someone who was a bit of an outsider being there, as in, I wasn't a student, I wasn't there fully participating as I was doing a lot of documenting while I was there, but you could just see from the energy and a lot of the other things of just how awesome the experience was. But participating or not, I truly left feeling inspired and looking forward to what's next in my own chapter in my life. So if you wanna see what it looks like from a visual standpoint and some of the people who are there and some of the kind of energy that exists at a conference like this, then head on over to my Instagram and check out that video. But with all that aside, let's talk about the conference. So I'll apologize in advance for my voice. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather or I have seasonal allergies. So I sound a little bit different. There's not as much inflection that I can get. Um, so I apologize in advance. But the first point I wanted to make is that this is the one of the largest national conferences within landscape architecture and it is put on by students. And I really don't know of any conferences of this level that are put on purely by students, which inherently already makes it an incredibly unique experience. And I wanna stress that just because I'm saying that it's run by students does not mean that it's taken any less seriously or viewed as in any less professional of a way than something like the National ASLA Conference would be viewed as. This conference has all of the normal events and it attracts tons of people from across the nation, professional students, uh, vendors, and potential employers all to this location. So it's, a, it's an incredibly unique opportunity for someone as a student. So let's start there by talking about what type of content you can expect from this conference. So to start, you have your keynote speakers and this will happen either once or twice a day. And they are some of the people who will come from across the nation to talk to you about relevant stories or information about the field um, to you guys, or they will also tell or share stories about their life, how they came up and where they've gone and the different directions that this field is all about. So they're really there to kind of get the crowd going, get you really involved and happy to be a part of this conference. And they're really there to help make you think and look forward to the future that you have as a student, which will be soon a young professional and working professional in our field. And in addition, they're also there just to reassure you that whatever path you may be on at that time, is it's going to be okay and that you'll hear stories from different people who have gone through similar things or different struggles. So it really kind of grounds you and makes you feel okay about what might be going on in your day-to-day -day life or what the trajectory will be for you in this field. And that's exactly what will happen. I mean, I started this um, as an aside, like side project thing, um, and I had no idea what to expect. Um, I didn't know how it would be received. Um, it was a scary thing to do, and it had ups and downs, and I don't know what I'm doing, I do know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. So hearing some of those conversations reassured me that I'm doing the right thing and made me more energized about doing this moving forward. In addition to having keynote speakers, they also have a range of different sessions that you can attend throughout the day and they will provide insight from something about your discipline or different stories of their firm or types of work or anything within the space of landscape architecture. These sessions are about an hour long, so you can expect to attend anywhere from three to five of them a day. So over the course of three or four days, you're really gonna be able to get a really wide range of information on loads of different topics that interest you. I mean, they have varying topics, so you can pick and choose which ones you're interested in, and you really get to see 
not only what you're interested in, but a different perspective on those topics. And this really goes back to some fundamental ideas I've had about landscape architecture, where it's such an incredibly diverse field in terms of um, the people and, and also the, the scope of work as well. So by going to something like this, um, you meet, you're meeting new people and, and in that you're learning about different topics that might not apply to you, you know, in that part of the country or is something you never thought about before. And you also get to hear from some people with different perspectives and different ways that they came up through landscape architecture or just how they developed as a person. So it really just is such an eye-opening experience and, and I'm really only talking about the content side of things. I'm not talking about the experiential side of things yet. We'll get there. But right now I'm just talking about the content and, and what you're going to absorb from attending that. Also, in addition, they offer lots of different workshops, which is going to be great for your professional development. They may be involved with new technology. You might get to learn about AI. That's something I went to. I thought it was incredibly interesting. Or you might get to do something fun like participate in a watercolor workshop and, and do something you, you never did before or go on a different experience of and see part of a landscape that you haven't been to. Um, all those opportunities present itself here. And the last thing this conference will offer you is a ongoing expo center every single day throughout the course of the day. So this is gonna be filled with vendors, software companies, and potential employers. So this gives you a load of different opportunities. A, it's gonna allow you to start to see some of the vendors that uh, supply us in our field. Um, so it's great to make those connections as you're going to be reaching out to some of those people a lot once you start working professionally. In addition, you also get to talk with some software companies, which is great to see which companies might be the future and, and most prevalent in our space. And then, of course, meeting with potential employers might get you an internship or a job, which is very important, um, especially coming out of school to get that first job. So that's it for just content. Let's talk about the experience you're gonna have and what that experience will mean to you after you leave your first Labash. And what I mean by the experience you're gonna get being there is the energy and the people who go to these conferences. Because the people there are there for the same reasons that you're there for. They're there as new, young, developing architects. They're there to experience something different in a different landscape, in a different part of the country or they're just there to have an eye-opening experience that they haven't had before. So everyone you're gonna meet is gonna have some level of shared interest within you, and they're all gonna be somewhat passionate about the field and really insightful um, people to meet as they come from all over the place. So it's a really fun energy to be around because you're, you're with a lot of people around your age who are all interested in the same thing. So you're learning a lot together but then on the flip side, you're also having a lot of fun together with meet and greets and other things that are going on after the quote unquote events. Because as I mentioned, there's tons of meetups and different social events that will go on throughout the course of the week, which will give you a great opportunity to kind of be a little bit of networking, learn how to network within our field. And it will also just give you a, a free opportunity to just have fun and enjoy with your colleagues. Like for example, I would have never probably have gone to Kansas if the conference wasn't there. And after having come back from there, I'm really happy that I was there. It opened my eyes to new things in the landscape. And, it, and I also met some awesome people while I was there too. I know as a student, like especially when I was a student, it always sounded cliche to me when I would hear people talk about, you know, the people you meet will come back and you never know what this person might do for you down the road, but it really is true. I mean, I got my first job from uh, a relationship that I had with my professor and, and he reached out to me to, you know, intern or potentially work at the firm and it worked out and that's how I landed my first job. So it really is true that the people you meet could come back or offer you something along the way. Something else on the experience side that's also important uh, from attending a, a student-run conference like this is since it's at a national level, it gives you a free opportunity to really learn how to network within our space and to see how like a national conference within our field operates so that when you're an emerging professional and you're going to the ASLA conferences, you kind of have a leg up on 
what's going on like and, and how to network and talk to people when you're there. And there's a really high chance that the people you met at Labash will be at the next or other conferences that happen within our space. So it's going to give you just a lot more social opportunities and friends to be there if you know, you're going alone or, or whatnot after college. So to put a long story short, if you are interested in landscape architecture, if you're a student, if you just have any interest in all, I highly suggest going to this conference. It's gonna just introduce so many new ideas to you and it's gonna really give you a good idea of what to expect by working in this field. And I can speak directly from experience. Um, when I was a junior, I, I found out about Labash and we were supposed to go to Cornell and it ultimately didn't happen because of COVID at the time. So I missed that opportunity to go. And then senior year, uh, it was still COVID. So it was kind of a remote thing. And at that time I was totally done with remote classes. So I didn't go either. So this was my first time. And if I was a student and had been able to go with a group of people from my major, it would have been just such a blast and such a memorable experience. And I left there last week feeling kind of sad. Um, and I texted some of my, my colleagues leagues in college of like, wow, we really missed out on an amazing experience. This, this kind of sucks, but it was an awesome experience and was really fortunate to be there. If you have any questions or just want to learn more about what Labash is, be sure to drop a comment below and I can do my best to give you uh, the most insight that I have from this conference. And as always, if you liked the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend who should go to the Labash conference with you. And if you want to learn more about the profession, be sure to subscribe. I do tons of content regarding landscape architecture here in terms of tutorials and what this space is all about. So check out the channel for more if you're interested. But that's all for me today. So thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.